If you're a Netflix user and you find the suggestions they give you to be awful, the My List queue is disorganized, along with other features you might find to be annoying and you want a better overall experience when using the streaming service. In addition to the tips and tricks I've shown you in the past, I've got five simple tips to show you that give you more control to better manage what you watch on Netflix. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First, I'll show you how to change the order of the content in your My List queue. I'll be demonstrating these tips on a PC. Any changes you make will carry over to all other devices that you log into Netflix, like your mobile phone, tablet, or streaming device like a Roku or Fire TV. On the homepage of Netflix, My List by default automatically puts your content in order based on what their algorithm thinks you'll enjoy most. You can also view your My List queue by selecting My List here at the top. While nobody knows you better than you, here's how you change the order of the My List queue. Hover your mouse over your profile picture and select Account. In the My Profile section, select order in my list. You have two choices, Netflix suggests and manual ordering. Select manual ordering and then save. Now if you select my list here at the top, you now have a list view from top to bottom. To change the order of any program, left click and drag higher or lower on the list and then let go. Instead of clicking and dragging, you also have the option to move any title to the top by selecting Move to Top. You can also delete any show from your list by selecting the X to the right of Move to Top. Now you have more control of the content you watch in My List. Creating profiles is a useful way to manage what you watch, especially if you share your account with others. Their watch history can influence the programs that are suggested for you. If you're one of the few people that have not added a new profile yet, here's how you do it. If you get the screen that asks who's watching, you'll have the option to add a profile. If you've already signed in, you can go to your profile icon and select Manage Profiles. You're allowed up to five profiles on one account. Here you have the option to edit any of your existing profiles or select Add Profile. Give the new profile a name. If this profile is for a child, you might want to check the kid box. This will limit the TV shows and movies that are suitable for kids 12 and under for this profile. When done, select continue. To further edit that profile, select it. Here you can change the profile picture, the language, and allow TV shows and movies, which you can change to for little kids only, all the way up to all maturity levels. When done, click on save. Then done. If you don't share your Netflix account, you may want to create profiles based on different moods, genres, or anything else you can think of. Rate the programs that you watch. Netflix used to have a star system, which many preferred. Now they give you the option to give a show a thumbs up or a thumbs down, which is similar to YouTube. When you give a show a thumbs down, that title will eventually disappear from your recommended list. Giving a program a thumbs up increases the likelihood of similar content being suggested to you. Also, when selecting or hovering your mouse over the thumbnail for a show, you'll see the match feature. A higher percentage indicates the likelihood of you enjoying that program. Sometimes the continue watching feature is useful to continue a program from where you left off. Sometimes it's not that useful, especially when it gets bogged down with content that you don't like and have no further interest in watching. To remove content from your continue watching list, go back to your profile icon and select account. In the My Profile section, select the Viewing Activity link. Clicking the X will remove the associated content from the continue watching list within 24 hours. A feature that many people find annoying is the post play feature, which will automatically play the next episode in a series or recommended content. If you want to disable this feature, here's how you do it. Go back to your account page, select playback settings. Just below the quality settings, simply uncheck the box for play next episode automatically. Then click on save. Now if you happen to fall asleep 
while watching one of your favorite shows. Now you don't have to worry about the next episode playing before you wake up. By following these easy to do tips, you'll now have more control to better manage what you watch on Netflix. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you have any other tips to help others manage what they watch on Netflix, let me know in the comments. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and click on the bell notification icon for more tips and recommendations for Netflix and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.